my reaction to the inflationary multiverse was to uh, draw the conclusion that this line of research has come to an end and it's, no, it's not fruitful when you end up with a theory that's not predictive. Uh, when it comes to the Planck satellite, you know, it was mentioned that this data is consistent with inflation, but the trouble is that there are so many models of inflation that actually you could adjust the models to fit almost anything. And uh, so I felt that's very deeply dissatisfying. So my reaction to it was to think, well, if we do try to complete the story, to find the prequel to inflation or, or really explain the singularity, and if we do try to complete what is going to happen to the dark energy in the future, we might have a complete picture and maybe it's much more predictive than inflation. And so I'm looking to use the failures of our current view of physics to guide us towards the, the future theory that will be complete. So maybe I can show you a picture, a movie, of the scenario uh, Paul Steinhardt and I imagined, which uh, was inspired by string theory, uh, mainly because that's the most complete mathematical framework we have, including gravity and quantum effects. And so if it begins with an empty, flat uh, universe, uh, in fact, two universes, which are parallel to each other and separated by uh, an extra dimension of space, uh, that extra dimension has been magnified here so you can see it, but actually it would be much smaller than the size of an atomic nucleus. The gap between these two three-dimensional three worlds, pictured as two-dimensional sheets. Um, so the, the history of the universe is as follows. We start with an empty universe full of vacuum energy. It's the vacuum energy that causes these two universes to pull together and uh, collide. When they collide, that's the Big Bang. It fills these two universes with matter and radiation, uh, and they form galaxies, and then the vacuum energy takes over, and, uh, and the cycle repeats and again and again. So this was our alternative to inflation we came up with. It's a cyclic universe scenario. Uh, we completed it in exactly the same detail that inflationary models are completed. We made predictions before the satellites uh, measured the sky. Uh, they agree to uh, exactly the same pre precision that the inflationary models uh, agree. Uh, it's not a satisfying theory yet because it too is very arbitrary. We had to introduce various free parameters and functions and so on, which I'm dissatisfied with. But I think it's really good to have a rival theory a different picture of the history of the universe that does not involve inflation, it doesn't involve the multiverse, and it involves, it, 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 it is of a universe which determines its own state dynamically. 